Hey, this is Vern again with Tax Corps, and here today we're going to talk about the Offer and Compromise Program. People have very various names for it. The official name is Offer and Compromise, but a lot of people call it tax settlements, tax reductions, write-offs, um, but they're called the Offer and Compromise. So the way the system works is the IRS is going to decide if what you're offering to pay on your total liability is the best that they can ever expect to receive given their different payment options, uh, levies, installment agreements, continuous wage levies, seizing a vehicle or a house and selling it off to pay off your tax debt. So basically what's going to happen is the IRS is going to fill out this long form, it's a call, a form 656, and it is a huge form. It's, it's, it's a behemoth of a thing, but it doesn't take a long time to fill out. It's just really in-depth into your finances. So they want to know all of your income from every source, whether it's a retirement, a paycheck, a a a a uh, a K one from a corporation, a dividend from some small stocks that you own. If you have a cash value of a life insurance policy, if you are involved in any lawsuits where you may be getting some damages awarded to you, any source of income that you could possibly get, they want to know about. They also want to know about every single one of your assets that you own: homes, vehicles, jewelry, antique cars. Uh, any type of investment or 401k or retirement plan. They will know every single dime that you have. Then they're going to look at every single expense that you have. It does not matter how small it is. Credit cards, um, Wi-Fi, cell phones, the big things like cars, homes, school tuition, even though some things they like to kind of scratch off the list, but we even will include school tuition in there sometimes in your expenses. And so they're going to take all of these things and put them together. Then they're going to look at your net equity and all of your assets. And then they're going to take that ink, that number and try to boil it down to how much is a fair amount of your total net assets can you use to pay off your tax bill. You will then put all this form, we'll put all this on the form for you. We send it to the IRS. It takes about six to nine months for the whole thing to run its course before someone makes a decision. Now there's several types of offers and compromise. And I won't get too technical, but there's there's two basic ones. There is a doubt to collectability and a doubt as to liability. The most popular one is the debt as to collectability. That one basically says, I owe, but I just can't pay it. Doubt as to liability says, you say I owe it. I disagree. I don't think that I'm actually liable for the entire amount. So those are the two types of offers and compromise. Now, you've got several payment options in an offer and compromise. The most popular one that IRS loves to try to get you into is when you pay a 20% down and then you pay the balance if they accept it. I don't usually recommend that one because I don't feel as though the 20% entices the IRS to accept your offer. But if they decline it, they keep the 20% and, you, and it just goes on your bill. And so I just always use what is the flat one where you send it in. If they accept it, then we go ahead and we make a payment. Now they've got several payment options. You can do the lump sum up front as soon as they accept it. There's one where you can pay, make five uh, monthly payments to pay it off, and under some circumstances, we can stretch it out to 12 or 24 months, depending on the amount of money that you owe. So if you're looking, if you have a large tax liability and you can't pay it all off immediately, and you feel as though you're in a position to where an offer and compromise might help you, you want to get with a good tax representative who knows how to write these things. It's not just the numbers. It has a lot to do also with the narrative that has to go along with it. Why am I proposing to pay less than what I owe? And why is it in the best interest of the government? Lots of different factors go into that. The type of job that you have, how old you are, your, your current health condition, um, what type of job you're working in, and the outlooks on the economy. If you are in, say, the fracking business and you're working in oil fields out in the Midwest, and you're making a whole lot of money, you ran up a tax bill, and now you can't pay it, and that's all you've done. You've been an oil worker for the past 35 years, and now the industry is kind of going away. Your outlook for getting another job in your same industry where you're good and proficient is not really, not really strong anymore. So the IRS may go ahead and cut you a break. It really just depends on your set of circumstances, how we address your Form 656 when we go ahead and file it for you, the offer and compromise. And then it's just a waiting game. You've got to wait your six to eight, nine months sometimes um, for them to come back with an answer. Uh, the most important thing in offering compromise is whatever we, we come up with a boiled down amount, you got to be able to have that amount when they come asking for it. 
because if you say, well, I owe $100,000 and I propose to pay twenty, and they accept twenty, they they're going to want it pretty soon. So you're going to have to have, your, have that money or be able to put your hands on that amount of money if they accept it because you don't want to get them to the point where they're going to accept it and then you can't pay and you got to start the process all over again. And there's other little caveats in there with that offer and compromise program. Um, if they accept it and you full pay it, you can't get in trouble anymore because there is a little unknown rule about that thing that says that if you ever get in trouble again, they can void that agreement. Um, they do slide those into the front finalized agreements. Um, I've seen them from time to time, so you kind of got to be careful. So if you're in that kind of situation and you like some advice on it, we have we offer free consultations here at Tax Corps. You can come to our website and you can um, do our contact page where you can send us a request. We do free um, online video conferencing with you, which is a face-to-face -face kind of like this. And we'll do a live video conference with you. Um, it's free for 30 minutes. Um, if you're in the Northern Alabama area, you can stop by our offices. We'll be glad to sit down and talk with you. Uh, you can send us an email at info, that's info at taxcorpllc.com. It's here on the screen. Um, also, subscribe to my page and like our videos. And if you have any questions, um, shoot us those questions as well because we do a question and, a question and answer session um, pretty frequently. About once a week we'll be doing those. So if you need our help, we're here to help you. Give us a call. Have a great day.